Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this new week, Monday morning. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And together we are Backyard Musings Broadcasting. I'm in Apple Valley. I'm still in Utah, but getting ready to head out. <laughs> okay. We are, just, we are talking science and technology today. Yes, we are. So kind of a weird one. Scientists have spotted an object they suspect might be from another star system, and it seems to be heading towards Earth. The European Space Agency announced today that its scientists may have detected the third ever extragalactic object to venture into the Milky Way. Currently, the harmless object, dubbed A11PL3Z, is several hundred million miles away from Earth, making its way towards Jupiter. Would you like to know more? Dr. Trigo Rodriguez uh, estimates that the object to be about 25 miles or 40 kilometers in diameter and assures that it won't come anywhere near our planet. The SCAP program at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory Center for the uh, Study of Minor Bodies, CNEOs, has completely dismissed any risk of a potential Earth impact. The closest um, it will get, according to the program, is approximately 284 million kilometers, just over 176 million miles. The first confirmed interstellar visitor was in 2017, so not that long ago. Right. That first one was Borisov, and you can see it's in the green, and it's like going from the top to the bottom middle. And the one we're talking about today, Oumuamua, is red. It looks like a hyperbole. Um, a red one at going at the top down to the center of the picture and then back to the top right top right okay so so it's going to be pretty close to mars right yeah well i when i was they had this little film in the article and you could watch as it's as the planets are rotating and it looked like it was going to hit mars that's what it looked like but no. It's saying that it's going to come closer to Jupiter, probably because Jupiter has a massive uh, gravity well. Uh, this visitor okay. was named this visitor was named Oumuamua, which means scout in Hawaiian, in honor of the observatory in Hawaii that discovered it. Initially classified as an asteroid, Oumuamua has since shown signs of being a comet. The second object and A11 PL3Z's direct predecessor confirmed to have strayed from another star, star system in our own, is 21 slash Borisov, discovered in 2019 and believed to be a comet. The mystery surrounding the interstellar object, Oumuamua, seemingly gets weirder by the day. A new study, which has yet, not yet been previewed, peer-reviewed, <clears throat> peer-reviewed, peer-reviewed, sorry, suggests the interstellar object could be made of hydrogen ice. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, but it's rarely observed in a solid form. Quote, we developed a theory that explains all of Oumuamua's weird properties, said study uh, co-author Gregory Laughlin, a professor of astronomy in Yale's Faculty of Arts and Sciences. In, and he said that in a statement. Uh, another quote, we show that it was likely composed of hydrogen ice, this is a new type of object, but it looks like there were, there may be more or many more of them showing up going forward. Unquote. Yeah, of uh, 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 hydrogen in a solid form. That is, that's weird. I've never ever seen that. Yeah, and it's not like I'm a chemistry major or anything like that, but it's weird. Uh, the cigar-shaped Oumuamua, and that's why. So some some scientists were kind of thinking that this was an alien craft coming towards Earth because it was cigar-shaped. And uh, that's what they are picking up on scopes and stuff. Um, so that's what all this mystery is about. The cigar-shaped Oumuamua is unlike anything researchers had ever seen before due to its shape, as well as its dry surface. The research notes that hydrogen ice, which needs extremely cold temperatures, is something that is present in the cores of molecular clouds. Molecular clouds form the basis of stars. <coughs> that makes sense because our sun is hydrogen, right? And the researchers believe oh, more, more could contain hydrogen ice after it passed by one of these molecular clouds in deep space, which could explain its speed. Okay. Another quote, as Oumuamua passed close to the sun and received its warmth, 
melting hydrogen would have rapidly boiled off the icy surface. Uh, according to the study's lead author, Daryl Seligman, uh, again, providing the observed acceleration and also winnowing, winnowing uh, Oumuamua down to its weird elongated shape. Much as a bar of soap becomes a thin sliver after many uses in the shower. Now, that analogy, I understand. I don't know. I, I take those bars right down to the little. <laughs> yep. And then you and then you plaster them on the new bar. <laughs> yep. It's possible that these hydrogen icebergs or hydrogen comets could be more prevalent in the solar system, which could give researchers new information about how stars and planets form. Quote, their presence would be an accurate probe of the conditions in the dark recesses of star forming clouds and provide a critical new clue for understanding the earliest phases of the still mysterious processes that generate the birth of stars and their accompanying planets, Laughlin noted. The 900 foot long cigar shaped Oumuamua has led to some researchers to, to believe it could be an alien probe. A study published in November of 2018 from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics suggested it could be a light sail of artificial origin uh, sent from another civilization. The researcher discovered Oumuamua, Canadian physicist and astronomer Robert Work said that the idea was from another civilization was just wild speculation. Ah, oh, come on. I don't know about wild I don't know about wild speculation. I mean, it could be valid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No longer observable by telescopes as of January 2018, many have speculated that oh, more, more, what it is. In addition to the light sail theory, some have theorized that it is a common asteroid. The mystery about its exact nature deepened in late 2018 when NASA said it had been looking into oh, more, more's direction for two months but did not originally see it. So it has a cloaking device. More proof. What do you what else do you need? Uh yeah, I don't know. We need we need more information on this Oumuamua. Let's send up a class two probe and find out what's going on. Yep. This uh this could be an ancient uh alien life form looking for the island of Tafiti. <laughs> Okay. Gonna land in Steve's backyard for the backyard musings. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So we All got right. to eye on this one. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Thanks. Hey, George.